Hello loves. I am reaching out to you today because I know we're in a whole new situation and we're all finding new and creative ways to stay connected and do things that we enjoy. So I thought it would be fun for me to share some of my drawing lessons with you. So our show today is hopefully going to help you guys get started drawing. And Nathan, I know that I've already gone over some of this with you at other times. So I hope it'll still help you with what you're drawing. And Abe and Oakley, some of this might be new for you, so I hope you enjoy it. And for anybody else that's tuning in too, I'm so glad you're with us. So let's get started. So uh, first I want to shout out to a woman named Mona Brooks who wrote this book. And I have based a lot of my drawing lessons on her teachings. So I want to uh, just give her credit for that. And if you want to order this book, it has tons of great things to learn about drawing it has it's an updated this is the old version there's an updated version so the cover looks different but it's as you can see drawing with children by mona brooks so thank you mona so the cool thing is with the line what we're going to learn about are the line families and the dot families and the circle families and with these elements of drawing and of shapes, we can draw anything in the whole world, which is so cool. I know that sounds amazing, but it's really true. And we'll go over some of how that can be in a minute. But first let's, let's meet the line families. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start out with the straight line family. Straight line family is pretty straightforward. Uh, straight line families can stand up straight. They can lie down. They can go in an angle. And they can be short. They can be long. And there can be several of them grouped together, which can give a neat effect, too. Unlike what I already started right here. Okay. Then we have the curvy line family, which is really my favorite, one of my favorite line families. So in the curvy line family, it's a line that curves. And here's another thing I just thought of. You might notice that looks like the letter C. So one way you could think of it is like, how could I draw my name? If you know how to write your name already, think about drawing your name using these line families. We'll come back to that. So, so the curvy line family Woo, I love how the curvy line family goes. So then we have the angle family, the angle line family, and the angle line family turns corners. And it's really, I would call this family cousins with the straight line family, kind of like cousins, because as you can see, it's like straight lines, but they're hooked together and they turn corners. Okay. Then we have the circle family. So a circle comes, it comes around so it's all together and it can, doesn't have to be like necessarily in what we think of as a circle. A circle can be anything that's roundish. And here again, they can be small or really big, okay? 
now then we have the dot family. And so a dot is basically, here we go with cousins again, dot family is like a circle family, but you color it in. Okay, and here again, it can be really tiny. And also, dots can be really cool when you group, put a lot of them together, group them together. I'm already, th I bet you're already thinking of things like, oh, like dots on a leopard or raindrops falling down, or I bet you've already got some cool ideas going with that. So. So now we've got our five elements of shape, the straight line family, curvy line family, angle line family, circle family, and dot family. So let's get the families working together and see what we can come up with. Uh, so you remember before I said with these shapes, you can draw anything in the whole world. So let's just start out with a simple idea and one I like to use a lot is a wagon. So for a wagon, we're gonna need wheels, right? So let's start out with our, we're gonna use circle line or circle family for our wheels. So we got our two wheels. Then we're gonna have a straight line. Then this is an angle line going over here. And then we're gonna have that part where you pull the wagon. We'll hook that on here, another straight line. I meant to have it go closer there, which brings up a good point. Like when you do what you think of as a quote, mistake, then you figure out, you think, instead of wadding up your paper, it's like, do I wanna change this? or keep it the same? Is there, a set, is there a thing I can do to change it to make it how I want, or do I want to start over? So for this, I could like make that a little thicker that makes it hook up a little more where I wanted it to. And then I'm going to put the handle, which is going back to our circle line family. And let's put some dots in here for the part where the wheel hooks, hooks onto the axle. So we've got the angle line family, straight line, circle, straight line again, dots. We need some of the curvy line to get in the act. So let's just put a, let's just make a decoration on the wagon. And then let's like, oh, let's add, let's add little dots in the decorations too, okay? So that's, oh, and wait, wait, hold the phone. This wagon is like floating in space. What do we need? We need a line right here. I'm gonna jump over that wheel, that wheel. Oh, now it's on the ground. Now you can pull it because it's on the sidewalk or wherever, okay? Um, so, so yeah, I think, Let's, let me pause here. What do we want to do next? So yeah, get your paper, get your pencils or your markers or whatever you want to use and take a deep breath and just kind of like loosen up. And then uh, after you turn this off and then try doing, see what you can do with these different families, putting them together and see what you can come up with. And oh yeah, if there is a grown-up watching this with you, this is a message for grown-ups. You too can draw. Uh, people tend to think it's like, oh, well, I just wasn't born with that special talent. Um, but really, it's just something you learn, just like you learn to ride a bicycle or drive a car. You weren't born knowing how to ride a bicycle, but you like wanted to, and so you like, 
ask people to help you and you learned and then you got better and better the more you practice. So drawing is the same way you can draw, just try it, okay? So that's the end of our first show. I hope it was fun for you guys. I enjoyed it. Um, till next time, vaya con Dios. <laughs>